Number three, let's just because we have around, we use the five minutes. The woman who is in her menses, ha'id, who is in her period, or the woman who is in her nifas, the postpartum bleeding after giving birth. She doesn't fast, obviously, just like she doesn't pray. She doesn't pray and she doesn't fast. But the fasting, unlike the prayer, it has to be made up. When a woman finishes her period, she doesn't have to make up the prayers of seven days. Obviously, right? Every woman knows that. Likewise, though, when she has get the, she gets the postpartum bleeding after giving birth, she doesn't make up for those days, whether it is 10, 15, 20, 25 days. She doesn't have to. But fasting, if it was Ramadan, she has to make up for the days missed. For the days missed. Now, some rulings which come for the women. If the woman, I'll, I'll just summarize this for the women and for everyone. Very simple, it's very simple. What is taken account of is what? It's the blood. Remember this principle. What is taken account of is the actual blood coming out. You know, before the period comes, there's always the talking to the older people of course experienced veterans eh? there's the cramps eh? and the stomach pains and all that some of you are looking very funny right now keep looking there's the stomach pains and the cramps and all that that does not have any ruling not in salah not in fasting so if the woman is fasting, like right now, there's 10 minutes left to, to Maharim, and she starts to get the cramps and the, and the eggs and all that, it doesn't mean she broke her fast, unless the actual blood comes out. When the actual blood comes out, then now the, everything changes. Even if it's 10 minutes before Maharim, if the blood comes out, it means this day is null and void. She did not fast, so she has to make up for this day. And likewise, you go to Fajr. You go to Fajr. A woman became clean just five minutes before Fajr. Five minutes before Fajr, her period ended. She is fasting. She is fasting. You understand? What about a woman who got clean at 7 a.m. just after people finish Fajr? She is not fasting. The one who's not fasting at the beginning of the day is not fasting at the end of the day. And by the way, the woman who's not fasting, she can eat and do all those things. Again, do not make the religion hard. Some people say, no, she should not eat. No, she, does not, she is not fasting. She can eat, she can drink, she is not fasting. You understand? This is basically, if you understand that, it's very easy, the ahkam of hayd and nifas. While fasting, we will stop here. We need to. I need to go and recheck all of these now, and we have the announcement. Inshallah, prepare for yourself, though. Like I said, most probably for Taraweeh. Inshallah, we continue after Maghrib. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Shadallah ilaha illa ant.